everybody? This is uh, Zach Tactical once again with another Arma video coming back at you. Uh, today I wanted to show you guys the server map that we use for my unit in Arma. And it's also like our training map. It's where we do like FTXs and stuff like that if we ever do them. And it's basically like our one hub map that we all go to to like basically get started in our clan and also train. So I'm going to go back in the little fancy Zeus camera now. Also peep the sexy little patch thank you b blade for making that really good stuff let's get out of there so uh starting off every map has a lot of these things we're not super unique but i do want to talk about some of the things i do like with us so obviously we got a little spawn super basic every one of these is those ace arsenal compositions i mentioned in the other video and then we got our grab loadout action little composition here uh this is our basic training advanced training whatever training 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 kit keeps it really simple for our unit makes it easy if you go in here press i you got literally everything you could need including m136 heat rockets for some reason uh, we got helmet cameras the c tab stuff and trenching tools you name it it is in there for some level of training even got wire cutters pretty crazy stuff anyway so uh i'll talk about it on the map real quick uh lots of stuff if you zoom out obviously we use the little salt flat or dried up riverbed whatever this is area on altus and so we got our spawn here we got urban ops training, basic training, advanced training, and then squad drills for any squads that want to do practice and get better at their stuff on their own free time. And then we also have air training for anybody that wants to practice flying with our vehicles that we use, or planes. And then we have vehicle gunnery, which just follows a little track, does some cool stuff. You can set up targets dynamically for them to shoot at and practice. And then we also have a gun range with obviously 100, 200, 300, and yada, yada, yada targets. Convoy target, that's for the... Uh, cast people if they ever try to test that and then we got a little area here which i'll show for precision landing if we ever do like rooftop landings it's uh pretty specific and a lot of people would just say it's you could use whatever you know stuff over here villages but i wanted to have a couple specific buildings just to uh get practice on those specific buildings so going into the actual training let me go into zeus so i'm going to do just a overall point of view since this is just showing the whole map. So obviously we got these boxes. So my philosophy with training, at least in this game, because it's a game, it needs to be short and sweet, straight to the point. So what I did is I made 100 meter by 50 meter, or eh, it's like 150 by 75 meter rectangles. And I told myself I'm gonna put everything training wise in those boxes and if it doesn't fit, it's too much. So what I did is I made our urban ops course, teach people like room clearing and stuff. Pretty simple. Teaches corner fed stuff, center fed, other corner fed. We've got a dry fire room, no targets, it's where you like grade them. This is actually a composition I got off the workshop I like. This one, this one's a copy of this but backwards with targets. Uh, this one I made for stairs and this is another two story I got. Uh, but they got the kill house here, they practice. If they pass that, they move on to the live fire kill house got some targets in there uh, then we have stairs basically just how to clear stairs we got targets here a little target behind which plays into a final culminating event which is the urban ops which is another composition like I said got some more stuff here got that sneaky little guy back here another sneaky little guy and then the final room and then after that they go to our little graduation area where we take a picture just like every other course and post it in our discord Make sure if you guys are, if anybody here is like an admin or a Zeus or a trainer, make sure you always do this. It's a nice little thing to have at the very end for your guys. They, they, you know, you put in work, they put in work. Do a little class photo. It goes a long way, I think, for motivation. Um, then we got basic training. So all of our basic dudes that don't want to do like active, you know, attendance, yada yada yada, special forces stuff in our our clan, they just do this and they're done. Basically, we have the grab loadout, enhanced movement test. Arsenal knowledge, shooting range, grenades. Right here, I got a little backstop. Uh, then we got compass test, basic formations. We cover TFAR radio over here, and then vehicle types. And then they got that graduation. Very simple, very easy to get into. There's a lot of milsims that make the training cap like three hours long and all that stuff. Dude, listen, uh, for me, running this clan for like four years, the best thing to do is just get people to play the ops. You know, if you got a bunch of new people, you know, pair them up with somebody who knows what they're doing, chaperone on the mint. It's not that hard, you know, your training doesn't have to be four hours long. Like, real military training might be that long, but this is a video game. And to some extent, 
you probably should treat it like a video game. But anyway, that's our basic training. And now advanced training uh, covers some covers a little, couple more advanced things. You actually get into the real life tactical applications. So we've got the little entrance, little graduation area, another grab loadout action, and then for this, it's pretty cool. I made this one from scratch. So we put them in a wedge and just start having them patrol forward. And so from here, they walk forward, they learn react to contact, left, right, and front. Then they learn bounding all the way up to here. They learn break contact back to here. And they learn react to indirect fire all the way back to here. And that's like four battle drills you cover in like less than five minutes if they know what they're doing and can listen. And then I'll make them do it, do it back. And if they do it right, they're good. And then here, pretty cool, also proud of this. Uh, we got squad attack. Fucking battle drill two alpha, I think. You know, we got squad walking forward, taking contact, getting online, flanking, clearing through, support buff or base of fire happening, and then they moving up, form back up. Then we teach mace reports, all that stuff. Super simple, right? You don't have to make people do three hours of training to learn how a squad attack works. It's not that hard. Pretty simple. Just get them to come play an op. Also, I don't know if you guys are veteran armor players here, but nine times out of ten, you can have a squad of like five or six of your most heavy hitting pipe hitters, and they're going to forget all this shit for some reason. I don't know. Digital bullets and whatnot. So now, I got some leftover AT4 from earlier training. We got our other little fucking training which is how to range grenade launchers in AT. Basically, they just stand here, fire AT, learn how to range it. Same thing with grenades. Up here, we got two IEDs. It only works if you only got two people on the server, but Azus can obviously replace this. But uh, we got IEDs, very clearly marked. And they go up to it and diffuse it with a diffusal kit. Also, they can use their mind uh, fucking detector to see if it's there. And then up here, we have uh, explosives training. So they learn how to plant claymores, breaching charges, and then set them off at a safe distance back there. And the final really cool, it's really not super necessary for like a training, but I think it's really cool and it gives them a little bit of a morale booster, is a little two-gun course. So they start out here, they can actually race somebody. They start out, stand up, shoot two targets, hit these targets with pistols, somebody cheated. And they go up here, crouch, lean, hit the bad guy, run up, 90 degree turn to the right, three targets and the first one to hit that after everything wins and uh, for us you only have to do it in 30 seconds which is harder than you think apparently uh, I think our record is like I want to say eight seconds eight or seven seconds is our record but 30 seconds is the basic requirement just learning how to shoot move and uh, be able to pay attention to detail with how to actually do all this because they literally get one run through and they have to do it and then if they mess that up they gotta get another run through, and basically we'll just do it until they get it right. And then after that, a little picture. And then the final little rectangle training area, which was the hardest one I worked on for a long time, uh, is our squad training, which covers squad level movement. And for, for us, since we play as like, you know, special forces units, and also this is Arma, and one player is worth like 20 AI, we do squads of four, which is kind of weird. I tried five, five was one too many. So we do squads of four. So for this, four guys go in, they get a little practice with setting breaching charges, cutting wire, they familiarize themselves with friendly and enemy targets. We have a little fucking cereal box rooms they can go in and learn how to clear with corner fed and center fed. Just a little practice before they go in for the live fire, because some guys might get a little rusty. And then on, from here on, we got observation deck up here, cadre stand up there watch them, grade them as they go through. If they have the cadre, if they don't, they just do it and squad leader uh, fucking gives them the what's what. Start the next area by cutting wire. They got a double little area here, which I don't know if there's any buildings that realistically look like this, but we do it just to get, throw, throw something at them that's different. And then we got a little corridor, different stuff here. All this made from scratch. Took a lot of time. Hey, someone joined the Discord. Hey, Tilster. I'm, I'm actually recording an armor video right now. Can you come back in a second? <laughs> anyway, that's one of our new Azusas just came in. I shouldn't be in a public Discord channel. Anyway, uh, the next part they do is four players are injured, and they have to pick them back up. They're AI, but the basically the cadre comes in and shoots them all in different parts. All four of them got to pick somebody up. And then from there, they go through the gate, hit these three targets, and then they got to pick a alternate standing position 
to fire through these portholes, hit these five targets, and then one guy picks up a AT-4, launches at a BDRM. They go through here, one, one at a time, 90 degree turn to the right, fire at one target, keep moving. Got to make sure they're staying as a squad. Little mini bounding lane after a grenade toss. And then finally they clear one cargo HQ, which is the most fucking infamous building in this game that everybody uses. And then once they kill that last target, they are done. Everybody can see them. Oh, and also I got this little observation deck right here. Players can watch. If we got a lot of players for that night, they can watch people go through, cheer them on, all that good stuff. And then just some of the extra stuff we got on our training map is just, you know, we got our air, which has been used because things are weird looking. We got our air training, got some vanilla, got some modded stuff. This is our training aircraft that we use, the Cessna, or wait, no, the Super Tucano, because uh, it's a two-seater. You can actually ride with your trainee and help them out. It's got another arsenal. Uh, we got the precision landing buildings over here. So we have a tall, medium, and low to the ground medium building, and uh, basically just little bird pilots or... I mean, hell, if you can if you can try it, a Blackhawk, uh, try to land on top of these with precision and practice their approaches from long range because there's a lot of visibility, um, and it usually helps. You know, I've seen a couple guys try this and do really well. Some of them not so much. And then the very last thing we got right now, um, at least physical stuff, is a shooting range. It's just a simple thing, compositions I took, and then I made the shooting range itself. But uh, I had some vehicles they can mess around with. Got the red flag, let them know it's live. So we got the grab, uh, the grab loadout, and then the arsenal here, and then we just have a bunch of stalls with this mortar, that 50 at the end. They can practice all their alternate stances. Got the arrows for each distance for targets. I oh man, I had. Are they here? Ah, <laughs> they broke off. Well, I had these little steel disc targets, but it uh, looks like those are just for show now. That's fun. But uh, yeah, so we got AT grenade range right here for the vehicles convoy and then the far off targets over here I think these are 800 meters and then yeah you got the driving course it's part of that technically as well which just goes through these gates take a left turn all that good stuff and then finally if we go on the map you can see opcom for us is what in some other milsims we call platoon leader or just any high level leadership that plans the whole mission from the get-go and then disseminates that information um, this is our opcom training which most of it's on the map so this is supposed to be an example of a raid on one objective from start to finish with 100% markings on the map. So you got your helicopter, start point, uh, ORP, OP, predetermined fires markers, support by fire, all that good stuff. Some other helpful things for you know leadership to divvy out the responsibilities without sounding like they have 15 billion different plans. Keep it very simple. You got Objective Bravo, which is the hotel, Zone 2, which is the villages, in zone one which is the main patio super simple all right so that is our training map i appreciate you guys all coming and watching the video if you got any uh things you guys think i should add or maybe take away hopefully not take away but add maybe uh feel free to drop a comment and let me know uh i'm always open to getting better stuff for training making people's experiences in the game a little bit more fun uh and just overall giving players a better experience so if you guys got anything for me leave it in the comments otherwise i will catch you on the next video